What's up, y'all? For those of you that are new to the channel, for those of you watching for one of your first times, we always have a segment called Cusco and Cut that we used to do, always, used to do it. And because I love editing my videos, I love putting in all kinds of effort into that side of it and I edit the crap out of everything until I'm really happy with it. So I like to counterbalance that with a video every now and then that is uh, completely uncut and just raw. But only when I feel like picking up the camera and doing it and I'm planning on doing it every Wednesday now that we have these regular segments that are popping up in just to give you guys a video to tie in between Monday and Saturday for those of you that are waiting and hoping for videos every day we're not doing that so <laughs> it's it's just for you guys and then also for me it's a spot for me to pour out and uh, let things go if I'm feeling inspired to do so so here we go now for me it's it's Mother's Day so happy belated Mother's Day to all you mothers out there had a great day with Hillary uh, you know made breakfast went out in the morning went and found flowers all around the neighborhood riding on my one wheel made her a little custom bouquet and cooked breakfast and just kind of doing whatever she wants to do you know what I mean that's that's what I feel the best thing to do for your mother's mother mother's mothers <laughs> you gotta love this uncut stuff huh <laughs> pardon me a little bit I've had some old fashions and I'm just I'm just rolling with it uh, we'll get to a specific subject. One of the subjects is going to be um, online stuff and, and uh, not necessarily politics, but just, just some, some of my thoughts on everything that's happening online because there is a red tail hawk. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was flapping over there like I don't know what it's eating there's something over there was interesting obviously but that would have been cool to get for you guys but obviously I didn't get that close we need Brian Gundy around here to teach us how to properly uh, trap a red tail or red shoulder whichever one that was anyway so mm, online so since this whole shelter in place thing and everything's been, been going on the past couple months my screen time has gone up. I get this little report every week on my phone that lets me know how much screen time I've had. And it, the past months, it had been going down every week, you know, smaller percentage every week, uh, which is good. But and something that is probably normal for all of us here uh, is that we've been having a little more screen time in this time, a little more time at home, a little more downtime, a little more time to scroll through stuff. And uh, so it's been going up more recently. But... The thing that the thing that grabs me the most is how willing people are to, or it seems, it seems how willing people are to believe whatever's fed to them through the TV, through social media, what, no matter what side you're on of anything, whether you're, you're for reopening the economy, whether you're against it, whether you think that we need to stay in place as long as possible, whether you need to think you need, that, need to take this mandatory vaccine, whatever it is, whatever it is. Um, I just grew up not believing anything unless I was there for myself. And even then, still being skeptical of what it was that I saw. And it's just something that I think there's maybe a silent majority of people that maybe feel this same way, where like, you can't put so much faith into all these things you hear. I mean, if you think about he said, she said, and if you really buy into that fully, it's, it seems like a great way to fail. <laughs> and, uh, it just it just kind of blows my mind how up in arms people will get, and maybe it's out of boredom, maybe it's out of uh, convenience. Like it's it's very convenient for us to just hop on the old phone, hop on some kind of social media platform, and and maybe even get some kind of mild form of entertainment out of the um, clash of ideas and and the polarization of any given subject. I really don't want to ramble on about this. I just realized no. Now, my, my point is, think for yourself, you know, take in all the information available, do what it with you will, do what it with, do with it what you will, and hopefully let it have a positive effect on your life, whatever it is, whatever that information is. If, if it helps serve you to be a better person, then absorb it, use it. But just because somebody's on a TV, on a video, in the news, wherever it is, you, I, in my opinion, you can't, you don't know what's going on there. You can't trust that. You weren't there. 
you don't know what really happened. You're, you're taking somebody else's story from it, often somebody who has an agenda on either side of, of whatever the topic is. And I, I, just, I just really like to see people thinking for themselves and having their, their own ideas and, and not just allow, being lazy, being lazy and allowing somebody else to decide for them what the truth is about any given subject. It's, it's just lazy, in my opinion. And not just in my opinion, it is lazy. If you let somebody else do your thinking for you, you are lazy. And you are better suited to do your thinking for yourself. Because when you let other people do thinking for you, it doesn't ever lead to anything good. Not in my experience. So, uh, that being said, <laughs> Mother's Day has been pretty good. We did just find out that uh, the place that Hillary wanted, really wanted to get some food for tonight, and she, you know, we made plans, and she checked, double checked them to make sure they're going to have available meals. She called them today, and uh, to just double check, like, are there, is there going to be enough for what we have going on? This this certain steak and lobster she really wanted, and I'm like, hey, whatever you want, man. This is this is your day. You can have whatever you want. I will do everything in my power to make whatever you want to happen today happen. We went out and drove out to find some wildflowers. We were a little late because the wildflowers I think are kind of over for the season already, but we still went on a beautiful drive, listened to some Led Zeppelin physical graffiti album. Contains one of my very favorite songs of all time. And uh, the, it was picture perfect. The CD, the album played for exactly as long as the time we were on the road and got back to town right when the album was finishing. It was, it was beautiful, beautiful. Even though there were not as many flowers as we were hoping to see, it was still beautiful. And so I told her, I mean, I don't need to rely on that restaurant. They, so she called back and the restaurant flaked. Like the restaurant was like, oh, no, we're out of those. But she had just talked to them an hour ago to make sure they were still going to have them. But they had wanted her to wait and call back. <laughs> anyway, I was like, I know, I know how to make steak. I've never personally prepared lobster, but I bet I could figure it out. YouTube is one hell of a great tool, isn't it? You can find out all kinds of stuff you want to find out on YouTube. She learned how to bake some sourdough bread off YouTube like a couple days ago and she killed it and she doesn't even really know how to bake that well usually her baking turns out to be you know subpar but she this sourdough bread was some of the best sourdough bread i ever had in my life thank you youtube thank you very much i appreciate it <laughs> uh, oh good i remember to hit record that would have been a real bummer so with these new segments i was thinking that i really need to bring back cusco uncut because the last time i did one of these i just talked about um you know, opioid addiction, and that was, uh, it, it was fairly well received, which is good, which is good, and I, I just want to bring them back and make them more regular, I, I know there's lots of people who are asking for them, like, where's the cuss going cut, where's the cuss going cut, and I, I really just want to make it its whole own segment and its own video each week. If you guys have any ideas or any topics in particular you'd like me to discuss my feelings on and ideas and opinions, please leave a comment down below what the topic is, and whatever the majority decision is on the topic down there in the comments below I will I will tackle that topic and I will I will not hold back and by not holding back I mean I tell people that if they let other people do their thinking for them they are stupid stupid in the head and they need to elevate their level and, and start thinking for themselves and elevate their consciousness to be a productive human in this world not just a, a follower following sheep let the sheep herder easy job you're gonna, you're gonna fight back against that sheep herder man don't let them tell you to stay in that fence you go, go do whatever you want to do, what makes your life full. You only got a small amount of time here on this earth to live our lives to the fullest. It's short. It's so short. And sh do what feels right to you. Do what feels right, not what feels easy. You know, then those two things are often not the same. The right thing is, is often not the easy thing to do. But you'll know in your heart when it's something that's right for you, your loved ones, whatever it is, it, it, it just, it's something that's undeniable. It just rings true. Granted, it can be very confusing, especially with all the information overload we're experiencing these days, especially when you let it in, when you're up in that scream time because you're, you're at home a lot and just letting all this information pour in. It's often overload. Sometimes you just need to shut that thing off, come sit outside, enjoy the breeze, put your feet in the sand, the dirt, roll in some mud, cake it on there, let it get all caked on until you and, and block out the uh, the things kind of like a, a nature born foil helmet. <laughs> uh, so if you've made it this far in the video, the, the one thing that I'm, well, I'm grateful that you made it this far, that means that I'm, I'm having some value with my words, which is always the goal every time I turn on the camera is to bring you guys something that 
you can use in your own life and inspire you to be a better person because that's what I use these videos for for myself is to when I'm editing back or even when I just play this back just to make sure I didn't completely make a fool of myself which even if I did true to the Cusco and cut if I sit down and commit and hit record I'm gonna upload the video no matter what happens that's part of being uncut is not censoring anything no matter what comes out of my mouth when I'm sitting here talking to you guys the great thing is they're just words and they're not held in any kind of stone or concrete ground we're not etching this in a chisel my opinions fluctuate often depending on new information that i've gotten so but i will say that one thing has never fluctuated ever since i understood myself and language even before i fully understood myself when i was still a kid i never took 100 percent faith in the words of other people no matter who that person is uh even my own mother will attest to this. I, I think for myself, and it, it's a powerful thing to be able to think for yourself, make your own decisions, and and uh, now I'm kind of being like a broken record. But it's all good. It's all good, man. Happy Mother's Day again to all you all you mothers out there. I, I think that some people say every day is Mother's Day. That's definitely not how we treat it around here. Maybe we could do a few more days that are more like Mother's Day. Hillary does deserve the best that she can get because she does have a heart of gold. And she does treat people the way that you want to be treated yourself. You know, that, that golden rule, the one of the golden rules. The other version of the golden rule that I've learned is he who has the gold makes the rules. I think that rule is bullshit, but, you know, is what it is. Everybody's got their own perspective on this world. I personally think my perspective is pretty damn good. And that's why I decided to sit here in this camera and, and give you guys the full uncut version of it. Uh... Yeah. So, Triple B TV. That was one other thing I wanted to tackle right before we get, we shut this thing off. Um, it's also happening on Wednesdays, which is when I'm going to be uploading these Cusco Uncuts. But I don't feel like I'm cutting into it too much because it's like they're complete opposite things at this point. And Triple B TV has been... After I did the Herpeton talks, I noticed everything kind of take a dive on the channel because some of the talks are, you know, to some people are boring. Even though there's lots of information in there. And then the timestamps are a bit long. You know, that whole lecture sometimes 45 minutes... YouTube al algorithm, people see the timestamp, they're like, no, that's, I don't have time for that, um, which is fine, but I'll, I'll never stop doing Triple B TV. I'll always try and feature somebody else in the hobby on that channel every, every single week, even if we run out of time to, even if we run out of footage for people that we've had on before and, and we need to get new footage, I'll start doing um, online interviews if I have to. If I'm not able to get to people in person, I'll keep doing that. Um, Anyway, I think I've I think I've outdone myself here. I should probably shut up. That's a lot of talking for me, straight without stopping. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful week. Don't forget to think for yourself.